The medical director of Planned Parenthood Federation in America once ripped Steve Lichtenberg a new one for what he called playing Russian roulette with patients' lives. It seemed that Dr. Steve just loved the challenge and excitement of doing risky abortions and treating life-threatening complications in his outpatient clinic instead of in a properly equipped hospital. Well, in Kia's case, he failed to rise to the challenge, and she paid with her life. This is Christina with the Sisyphean Journal, and today is December 10th. Today, December 10th, we are looking at the death of a teenage girl at a National Abortion Federation chain clinic. Um, it's Family Planning Associates Medical Group, which was founded by Dr. Edward Campbell Allred. Uh, Allred is credited for doing for abortion what Ray Kroc did for hamburgers. Um, he created the assembly. He's credited with creating the assembly line abortion um, get them in, get them out, absolutely minimize the amount of time spent with the doctor. Um, and the young lady whose death we're memorializing today, uh, she did, died December 10th, 1998. So that would make her 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So she would have been the 12th of 16 dead abortion patients I know of at Family Planning Associates Medical Group. Um, and she died at the Albany Medical Surgical Center. Um, Family Planning Associates was founded in California and it, it was spread into Illinois and Steve Lichtenberg was the head of the kind of Illinois branch. Uh, he performed the fatal abortion on Deanna Bell. And there's something you kind of need to keep in mind about him as I'm telling this story. I listen to a lot of National Abortion Federation uh, risk management seminar tapes and annual meeting tapes. And um, once in a discussion period after a session, Lichtenberg talked about how he really enjoyed uh, treating complicated cases um, high-risk abortion patients in his freestanding clinic and liked dealing with complications because it kind of livened things up and gave him a challenge. And Michael Burnhill, the moderator who was then medical director of Planned Parenthood of America, just ripped him a new asshole for playing Russian roulette with patients' lives. And uh, so I guess it's no surprise that Lichtenberg had patients dying. Um, I don't know if that new asshole was given to him before or after Deanna Bell's death. But at any rate, um, Kia went to um, the clinic on December 10th, 1998, and uh, Lichtenberg performed the abortion. Um, an anesthesia expert who reviewed Kia's records said that she was obese, had a history of bronchitis, had some upper airway congestion, and had a pulse ox reading of only 94% at the time she was sedated for the abortion, which is a little low. Um, and the records from Albany indicate that, quote, deep sedation, if not general anesthesia, was used, which means they were kind of vague in how they were documenting what they were doing with her. But she was not given oxygen, and she was not monitored with an EKG as would be appropriate for an obese patient who was getting that degree of sedation. And there was no note that she was being properly monitored otherwise. Um, she was intubated for the anesthesia, but there was no documentation that anybody verified that the tube was placed properly. So the nurse anesthetist documented using only Brevitol, but Lichtenberg noted that both Brevitol and Stadol were administered. So again, you know, kind of not the world's greatest record keeping. But the greatest fault that the anesthesia expert found was that when Hill noticed that uh, Kia's pulse ox was only reading 74%, meaning she's seriously, seriously is oxygen starved at this point, 
he did nothing to ensure that enough oxygen was actually getting into her lungs. Instead, he administered a drug to increase her heart rate, which, um, as the experts said, likely delayed critical intervention of ventilating the patient with oxygen. So, you know, this young lady died. And like I said, she was the 12th of 16 patients that I know of that died after abortions at Family Planning Associates Medical Group, which remains the flagship of the National Abortion Federation. They proudly fly that flag, and NAF is proud of them and still refers to them. So make of that what you will.